Hi everyone, today I want to show you how I color flowers with watercolors or distress inks. For this project, I chose the Magic Flowers stamp set from Create a Smile. So I started out with stamping the flowers to watercolor paper with Tattered Rose and the leaves with Forest Moss. I masked the flowers with a piece of paper and post it. Then I took my non-sticky board that I used as a color palette. This is a non-sticky craft sheet from Ranger that I fixed with score tape to a wood panel and it's just super handy for watercoloring with distressed inks. I pressed my ink pads against the board and I chose different vivid colors like um, yellow, orange, pink and red. I listed all supplies and colors I used for this card on my blog. So for more information, don't forget to head over at the end of the video. I colored one petal after the other. First, I only applied a layer of clear water with my brush to one petal. And then I added the different shades with a little bit of water. In this way, um, the colors blend perfectly together, but I didn't apply too much colors because I wanted a transparent look for the flowers, but you will see later that I added more colors to the leaves. I repeated these steps with all petals and leaves. I left each petal air dry completely and this is a very important step. So I always worked with a petal that was not adjacent to the one I just had colored. Now I will speed up the video with a little bit of music so you can watch how I color the flowers. <music> Before I made the background, I decided to cut my piece of watercolor paper because I thought it was too big and smaller it looked better. So then I applied clean water to the background along the flowers and the leaves using a bigger brush. I added blue shades randomly here and there and I left it air dry. Sometimes I try to overlap or touch the flowers and the leaves with the background color and sometimes I just left tiny white spaces because in this way it looks more like watercoloring and the coloring also doesn't need to be perfect. To finish off my card I made some black splatters around the flowers and I stamped a sentiment from the Bad Day stamp set also from Create a Smile. It's the end of the video, I hope you got inspired and thanks for watching.